Hey guys, it's Ben. How you doing? Hope you're all awesome. Now behind me, I have a snare drum with a really cool story behind it. A while ago on my channel, I reviewed the Bog Oak Subterranean Snare from Repercussion Drums and it was a beast. So I was very interested when Andrew from Repercussion Drums got in touch and said, hey Ben, just thought I'd let you know, I'm working on a new project. I was like, Andrew, what is this project? He said, well, I'll tell you if you stop interrupting me and ask me what the project is. I've managed to get an eight foot beam of what they call Douglas fir from the hospital wing at San Quentin Prison. And I was like, the San Quentin Prison that Johnny Cash played his iconic gig in 1969. And he said, yes, Ben, the iconic San Quentin Prison that Johnny Cash played his gig in 1969. So behind me is one of three only ever in the world San Quentin snare drums from Repercussion Drums. So what makes this snare drum so special? Well, aside from being steeped in musical history and coming from such an iconic historical place, I mean, Andrew said to me, he said, imagine the stories that would could tell. I mean, San Quentin Prison was a crazy place in California. Um, a lot of stuff went down there and you can imagine some of the things that would have happened in the hospital wing, it's just mad. I think it's really cool that you know, there are people like Andrew who are making drums, but also really want the story behind the wood to be told, I guess, so it's cool. Now you might also notice it's beautiful blue color. This was actually carefully matched to the exact color of the prison overalls that Johnny Cash was asked to wear and just the general prison overalls in there. Now what I thought was funny is that Cash wore them for the rehearsal, but when it came to gig time, he was like, I don't wear any prison overalls and he just went on as he was. Douglas fir is really special. It's used in a lot of musical instruments, particularly acoustic guitars, because the natural resonance of it, when they've tried loads of different woods over the years, they've gone, Douglas fir is where it's at. So it's cool that the beam in the hospital was Douglas fir, because we know that's a really musical wood. Uh, and it definitely, you know, it's got a lot of resonance, a lot of tone, a lot of body, and a lot of attack. So yeah, it works. So there you go, a very rare snare drum on the channel today because Andrew has officially bought the last beam available from uh, San Quentin Prison from that bit. So there will be no more and there's only three. So I'm sure they'll go soon, but I'm glad I had the chance to try it out today. And uh, you know, I always appreciate the artistry behind people that make cool stuff, but I also like it when someone takes it to that next level and they really incorporate the story, you know, and they get behind the history of something and that becomes an art piece as well like this. So. Very, very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like the drum, then go and give Andrew from Repercussion Drums some love at the link below. It's always good to support the independent guys. Let's cut to some slow-mo, super sexy shots of this drum, and I'll play some drums over it. See you in a bit. So as I said, the wood is Douglas fir, 
or you might more commonly know it as Sudotsuga Metsiesi. No, I'm just kidding, I had no idea I looked it up. 